Hello, hello. Uh, in this video, I'm going to show you some progress on my video game Lunar Launcher. Uh, sorry for the mess behind me. I don't have that much space in my apartment to record, so you're looking at the uh, back side of my apartment. It is a little bit, it is a little bit messy, um, but I guess I digress. Uh, so this is a game I've been working on for about three years. Uh, I started it my sophomore year of college. Um, I originally uh, used it as a programming assignment for one of my C++ classes, uh, and I kind of just let it sit after I built the first version, because I wasn't really satisfied with the way it was, but I also didn't really have the skills to make it any better. Um, so come this year, I was working on my senior thesis in college, and I learned some new tools for game development, uh, most notably Unity, and I realized how simple that some of these tools were and how much, uh, you know, how applicable they were to improving my game. So uh, that's kind of the backstory. I, I, I got back into it. I rewrote the entire game uh, in Unity. And it's been a lot easier for me to add the features and tools that I want to make this game something that I think can be really fun to play. So um, the other big thing that's changed since the last time is now it's web-based. So that means that you can visit it in your web browser right now. Uh, and I'm going to put the link in the video description, so if you think this looks like fun, you can try it for yourself. The website is lunarlauncher.danielcorcoran.xyz. So I have it all linked up with my personal website. And you're looking at it right now. This is uh, in my web browser. Um, sorry if I'm being too technical, I guess. I just uh, spent a lot of time working on the coding and stuff of this, so I might, I might go in depth a little bit. Hopefully not too much. Um, yeah, let me get started. So uh, it's the same 10 levels as the first version, and the first level, uh, actually, let me talk a little bit here. So this is uh, a story-based game, so there's a little bit of a backstory to it, and I'll, let, I'll click through here as you can see. I was really influenced by um, Cave Story, it was one of my favorite games uh, growing up, playing it on like the Nintendo DS. I really liked the story-driven nature of that game, and I'm, I'm hoping to be able to implement something like that here. Sorry, there's also um, music. Hopefully it's not too loud. If it is too loud, I'll just cut it out. Oh yeah, I'm gonna make it a little bit less loud here. <laughs> okay. So, the way you play this game... Actually, maybe I'm gonna mute it. It's too loud. So, the way you play this game is you click to create planets, and your goal is to fly the spaceship into the black hole. Uh, all the while, you're trying to avoid getting hit by asteroids. If you hit into the asteroid, you explode. So I'm actually going to play one more time. So if I right-click here or left-click, I create a planet. Go in that direction. And the, everything in space has gravity, so you can orbit around these planets just like, um, you know, things orbit around planets in real life. And the, gra the black hole also has gravity. So you fall into the black hole, you get sucked in, and that's how you win the level. Anyone who's seen my first videos on Lunar Launcher know this is a lot different. A lot has been added. So I'm going to show you um, what it looks like when you crash if you die here. There you go. So the, also the stars don't do anything at this moment. I'm going to have it set so that if you collect enough stars, you can ostensibly upgrade your spaceship or get some new skins or something like that. You can see. Once you get used to a lot of people have a lot of difficulty with the planet thing, but once you get used to it, you really have a lot of control over your, your spaceship here. But I'm going to crash so you can see what that looks like. Kaboom!
dropping a lot of frames right now, and I wonder if that's because of OBS. And here we go. Silas is stuck in outer space. He's been stuck for a long time. I'm trying to make the levels like progressively more difficult here, but a lot of people have said this level is really hard. And I think once you try it out and you get the hang of the controls, I don't know. It's really hard for me to gauge how difficult the levels are because I've played this so much in testing and development that I'm like really, I would say I'm pretty proficient at it. See, I can go right around that. I say that and then I explode right away, so maybe I need to get over myself. Huh. One thing I'm really interested in adding is a level editor so people can make their own levels. And also I have a lot of other ideas for gameplay elements, not just, you know, exploding into asteroids, but the first levels are just designed to kind of get you familiar with the with the game here. Oh yeah, this cutscene is atrocious. I <laughs> for forgive me. I used Mid Journey for all of these um, graphics because I can't draw for crap. Uh, and I had to just do my best with what I have. So if anyone's interested in working on this with me and making some better graphics, I would be very happy. I also did all the writing for this. Um, I wrote probably about 50%, and then I used some you know, generative models to help with the cleaning it up. I've never really been much of a writer, but I really like playing story-driven games, so I wanted to make something like that. This is, I guess, one of my first attempts at really writing. Um, so, yeah, I hope that it's somewhat engaging, and I'm really open to feedback, and I really want to hear what people have to think, because I take, uh, I've gotten a lot of feedback, and most of the time when people suggest something to me, uh, I always consider it, and more often than not, I will make an effort to implement it into the game if it's a good idea so just want just to stay um i was one of my friends was playing and he suggested putting a timer in like a like a time trials and i think that's a really good idea and so i'm going to try to do that uh, hopefully in the next or or one or two releases from now i'm going to try to get that in there also a good idea i'm i'm thinking about is multiplayer so you could have like two people some in some kind of battle to crash the other person by creating planets to screw them up. Yeah, I don't know, that'd be fun. Um, one other th side note here is the cutscenes are not yet integrated into the actual gameplay, but that is the plan. There's going to be enemies and bosses and stuff that you beat uh, to progress through the game. And so this is trying to create some sort of backstory for that. But I don't have it currently implemented in the in the current version. Oh, this one was, this level was a lot of fun to make. Oh, can't even be my own game. Also, look at the stars. I don't know if it records well in, in my OBS, but if you look at the stars, there's actually some type of parallax, parallax effect. So it makes... Oh, shoot. 
So it makes it look like there's a lot of depth to the background. It looks almost like it's 3D. I wonder why it's dropping so many frames. Normally, I get like 60 to 100 frames per second. Um, and I'm on an i7, so maybe I'll have to work on that. Oh! No! No! I, that was so close, I thought I was going to crash into the asteroids. I don't know if anybody saw that. Maybe I'll have to add a replay in there. Um, yeah, so that's Lunar Launcher. That's the game I've been working on. Uh, it's still a work in progress. And on the website, towards the bottom here, I have a feedback form where I'm very, very interested in what you guys think about this. Uh, line, yeah. uh, very interested in what you think about this, and I will take all difficulty and, oh, sorry, all of your feedback into consideration. So please, 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 if you try it out, fill out the feedback form and please help me to make this as fun of a game as possible. Uh, I'd say probably like one of my main aspirations in this life is just to create something that people use and people find joy in and have fun playing with. And uh, I think that the only way to really do that is just to figure out what people don't like about the things you're making and sort of work from there. So I'm very, I'm very, very grateful uh, for all the feedback. And thank you to all my friends who have tried this out and who have given me feedback. I, I, I really appreciate it and I'm taking everything very, very seriously that you guys are saying. So yeah, that's all I have for Lunar Launcher. I hope you enjoyed playing it and please let me know what you think. Thanks. Bye.